we finished up the showing guys honestly did not go as good as planned the seller has dealt with the wholesaler before and they didn't perform and wasted his time for us guys we don't lock up properties unless we know we're gonna close and i was trying to reassure him that he was trying to shut down the showing it was just like a whole big deal What's up guys, welcome back. Today we have an adventurous day as always. Uh, I'm headed to show a wholesale deal right now to a bunch of buyers. And then uh, we're gonna shoot over to Fifth Ward, check out uh, the projects. We had a couple mishaps happen yesterday, so I gotta go check on that. And then I'm gonna take you guys to the Katie project that I was talking about in the last video. I'm sure you guys watch all my videos, so you know what I'm talking about. But uh, I'm gonna give you a breakdown on that deal. Uh, we're actually already halfway through it, uh, cause it's just a quick turnaround, but I'll break down the deal, the numbers and everything. Uh, but I gotta get moving. Let's go. 60 seconds from troubleshooting experts to help diagnose and fix the issue. With Rent Ready, rental investments by visiting tkbr.com slash Then you have to deal with decision fatigue. I then get home and I then think, am I going to eat the crap at home or not? Then I just put myself in a situation where now I'm making a decision in the heat of the moment. And that's again where situate people like maybe I want to like, you know, hire. I actually let my assistant hire all people on my team because she's the one who actually works with them. I know, I work with initial curiosity. Like a lot of it has to do with goals I have. Like for example, David Osborne, so I know you. All right, we finished up the showing guys. Honestly did not go as good as planned. The seller has dealt with the wholesaler before and they didn't perform and wasted his time. For us guys, we don't lock up properties unless we know we're gonna close. And I was trying to reassure him that he was trying to shut down the showing. It was just like a whole big deal, but I managed it. Once I get a buyer locked in, we'll save the deal. But either way, we're here at Fifth Ward and I'm gonna give you guys an update because we've had a lot of shit happen in the last couple weeks. And if you guys can see, we have a orange tag on the window, which means we were actually red tagged. But I'm gonna talk about that in just a second. All right, so like I said, guys, we got this right here, fucking red tag yesterday. And the reason being is because we've actually pulled our permits. However, it hadn't processed through the county side. So we have done our part. However, the city inspector, they drive around this area. It's a lot of construction and they halted all construction yesterday. So basically they stopped all construction because the permits hadn't technically been paid for, uh, but it's because they were moving slow on their end. But uh, let's take a look on the inside here because we have pretty much, as you guys can see, a full blown open house. I mean, we're waiting on windows. They're supposed to get done today, but because of yesterday and the slowdown, and then now we have to wait because it's piss pouring raining and here in Houston. Um, but yeah, let's, let's take a look around guys. So dump is already full. We have the framing. If you guys remember, these were, they were three, three bed, a bedroom here, a bedroom here, and then one in the back. Now this is actually getting framed out to be a bathroom. This will be the shower, or no, this is a closet, uh, shower over here, sink, toilet. We're gonna get everything in. As you guys can see, the dumpster completely fucking full. And the other house, as you can see, they've actually already framed up that uh, for the second bathroom in as well. And like I said, these houses are identical. So, yeah. Blown out, we actually had a chimney that we discovered that was in the middle of the floor. Got that taken care of. We're gonna have a big open kitchen. Go back here. I mean, look at this, guys. There's These bricks are from 1930, so Ben actually saved a couple of them, and we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna keep them in my office. But yeah, guys, we, we are making progress. Still a long way to go, and a short time to get there. But we're working. And that's pretty much the update on this, guys. Uh, let's go check out the Katy property and see what we got going on over there.
right, guys. We are here, last stop of the day at the new Katie Flip, and I'm gonna break this deal down for you. But I'm gonna give you all a walkthrough really quick first, because we got a lot of shit going on today. We got plumbing going on, we got granite going on, and we're still working on the inside with paint and stuff as well. So let's go take a look. What's up, my man? Okay, okay. I'm good, I'm good. So we have granite on. Hey, what's, uh, up, what's up, Dan? I don't know those pieces are cracking because they got wet. Okay. So they're kind of delicate right now. Okay. So I'm, gonna, I'm still gonna have to come back tomorrow anyways. That's cool, yeah, and right. no one needs to see. You know, I just don't want them to catch more mixing. Yeah, yeah, no, I got you. Yeah. You know, I don't want to. You can't have for Right. Yeah. Most of them broke because they were already, you know, wet. No bueno. Yeah. And what caused them to break? They just got wet, you said? Yeah, but, um, because I guess from where they got wet and I was striving with them. And then, gotcha. Yeah, the vibration, you know, it caused them to be more delicate. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. I mean, but none of this is gonna happen once that installed. That didn't happen. Gotcha. All right, cool. I haven't done none of the panels yet. Okay. Yeah. I got one of the things. Uh, I'm gonna get the other two for tomorrow. Okay. And then uh, I'll, I'll be out here tomorrow to finish. It's just those two vanities and the two small pieces right here. Okay. Okay, cool. Everything is Um All right, cool. All right, guys. So, as you can see, they're working on the plumbing. They're repiping the whole house. A few cutouts here and there. We're gonna be redoing the tile in the bathroom, which they were supposed to save it in the uh, guest, but oh well. We'll have new granite in here, and then closet. And as you can see, working on the plumbing. Got the floors up, walls are primer. Well, most of them. So we'll get paint going pretty soon. So, take a look out back. Oh yeah, and I forgot we're getting AC done too. I got my AC guy here. Getting a new outside unit done. Uh, as you guys can see, the roof has already been done. So like I told y'all, we're about halfway through with this one. What's up, my man? What's up, Derek? How you living? Hey, it's pretty good, how about you? Hey, no complaints, man. Long time. Right? So this was a lead, like I told you, uh, that a realtor actually brought to us. I'm gonna go up front, give you guys a tour, and then I'll break it down for you. A water heater. Second dump. Uh, this was like an estate deal, so there's a lot of shit left in the house. Let's take a look at the front of the house. Like I was saying, so we got the all new roof, we got the sign blowing, letting people know we'll buy their house too. And yeah, let's go, let's break this deal down and let me tell you a little bit about it. All right guys, so that is the walk around of the Katy property. Just to give you guys an idea, so this deal was brought to us from a realtor buddy of mine. We actually bought a house from him this time last year in January, another property in Katy. Uh, his family has a brokerage here, so they're well known in the area. But it was an estate deal that he was going to purchase, but uh, due to the legalities of it and how long it took, he decided that he would just kind of like wholesale it. So we basically paid him like an 8% commission. Uh, we bought it, our contract price was 125. We weren't the highest bid, um, however, 
we were for sure bid. We did no option. I did 5,000 non-refundable. So, you know, with the competitive market and being in Katy, you got to do what you got to do to get the deal done. Um, so we got the deal. Uh, our lender gave us a loan of 140. We're putting about 25 into it. So all in all, it's like 165 and then plus closing costs and everything will be in around 170 ish. And we plan to sell for around 200,000. Uh, so that'll leave us with about 20, $25,000 profit. And I know it's not a 70% rule if you run the numbers, you know, but I'm willing to pay a little bit more because the house is literally 15 minutes away from where I live and it's a two week turnaround. I mean, you guys didn't even get to catch the beginning because they're moving so quick. Uh, so we're almost finished. Actually, I should be done and listed by next week. And, uh, you know, it's just a quick little flip. Normally we like to make, you know, 35 to 40 on our deals, but it is what it is. Um, the market's getting competitive and uh, we're just trying to keep our, our contractors busy and keep it pushing. So I'll show you guys the finished product when we get through uh, next week. And uh, we actually just bought another new flip where we contracted one. So I'll take you guys to that one pretty soon as well when we close by the end of this month. Uh, but I appreciate you guys riding with me. It's been a long day. I've put about 100,000, or not 100,000, but 100 miles more on my car today. Um, but yeah, if you guys could smash the thumbs up button, like, subscribe, tell a friend, and uh, ride with me through these journeys, guys. We're going to be flipping a lot of properties this year. So, peace.